a little bit about the piece. Beignets are a common dessert in New Orleans. So I mix that with the chicory coffee that they also drink in New Orleans, a New Orleans staple. And this figure is jumping through and altering the coffee in a sense. Start with the bird. At the very top, it's all encompassing, right? You got the wingspan, mostly the left wing, coming in covering a third of the medium, covering a third of the composition. The rest of it's the body. It covers mostly the whole top of the piece. It's pointing straight down and it's dropping off these sugar cubes. I wanted to make the bird yellow so that it's very eye catching. You know, you can't miss it. The feathers are black to gray. The bird is flying down, dropping off what? Sugar cubes. Why are they being dropped into the coffee? They're being dropped into the coffee to sweeten it, to make it taste even better, to enhance it, to make it more powerful in a sense. Now you might be wondering, why logos? There's so many institutions at this time in, in history on earth that have the resources and the experience to contribute to the world becoming better for all of us consistently. Like the coffee, the beignet is another piece of cultural iconography that I threw into the piece. When I was in New Orleans, I ate a lot of these, I drank a lot of these. New Orleans is so cool, man. It's such a good, <laughs> that city is so good. Like, look, little, little detour. New Orleans is so dope. Like, I remember having, like, going out, having an amazing time, and flooding into the street with thousands of other people, and then eating the best chicken sausage hero I've ever had in my entire life. On top of the fact that I went boat rowing, saw nature, went to an art museum, ate at Cafe Du Monde, inhaled their chicory coffee and their beignets, fucking fire. The beignets are dancing in the background. One in fact is going into the coffee mug. I'm also using it as a device to make it clear that we're in three dimensional space. Now, the coffee in this is meant to symbolize energy. Coffee, we drink it every day. A lot of us drink it in the morning time. Best part of waking up is folders in your cup. Coffee plays the role of giving us energy, stimulating us and assisting us to get things done. Sharif's musical morning is a piece about the morning time. When things start. So, with that said, I chose to put in coffee. The beignets are an extension of the coffee, right? I keep going back to this one just because I really love the way it came out. The sugar, the sugar accumulation here, how it drifts off to here and then the edge. It, I like the way it came out. But you can see the same beignet dropping into here, right? So it's splashing in, you know, it's tying the whole piece together. This whole piece is actually creating, an, this whole piece is actually creating an oval. Now we're going to move on to the figure, Sharif. The helmet that Sharif is wearing is to suggest that Sharif is prepared. We don't know where he's going, where he's coming from, or what he's up to. And that's the point, to be completely honest. When it comes to my pieces, I do these, I'm do these. i doing this, this breakdown to make it clear to you what I was thinking, right? However, for people seeing it in an exhibition or seeing it for the first time without this context that I'm providing here, I prefer that you essentially choose your own adventure, right? We can discuss it. That's what the conversation's about, right? And that's what breakdowns like this is for, to prepare us all for a conversation about art. Because how many of us are really truly prepared to have a conversation about art that's deeper than just, I like it or that's fire? That's great, but what if you could have a, a great round conversation about the arts, about a piece of art that you really enjoy? What if you can reference it the right way? What if you can build network upon understanding art the same way other people understand art? And now you know people that, that appreciate the same art you do. And woo, woo, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I digress. Let's move on. Based on the symbology that's being provided by the helmet, he's probably a warrior. He's probably connected to some kind of spirituality somehow. And I say that because he's wearing a jewel within his helmet. It's encrusted in the helmet. Kind of almost like royalty, if you will. The helmet is referenced from Mesoamerican culture, particularly the Mayan Empire. I like to grab reference from books particularly uh, and throw my learnings into the final piece. All right, now we're gonna get to the trick, you know what I mean? This time, this is one of my favorite parts, you know what I'm saying? Cause all right, so boom, right? The track suit with the khaki shorts, it's meant to symbolize that he has a relationship with pop culture. Certain things that are from the past that are ancient, 
uh, without any kind of polish, it can be kind of dusty. My man's wearing the track suit top with the khaki shorts, with the blue sneakers. His long hair that's coming all out of his helmet is braided. That's meant to symbolize that. As a warrior, he's so masculine and so dominant and so aggressive that to balance that out, he has long hair. Because long hair is a feminine trait. Out of this tea kettle, we have hot milk spewing out, going into the coffee. It's lightening up the coffee right here, right? So you have one spout with coffee coming out of it into the mug. You have another spout, the one that Sharif's holding, with milk coming out, hitting the coffee mug rim, going into the coffee pot, and also spilling out. And that's what you see from here all the way to here, which also supports what? The overall oval, the overall shape of the piece, right? the overall shape of the piece. He's adding to the coffee what makes the coffee just right. The thing that Sharif is providing for the coffee is what's gonna make the coffee perfect. Not good, but great. Not a B plus, but an A plus. Much like the Aquarius and the Zodiac, I figure Sharif is a water barrier, if you will. In that he's carrying liquid that he's gonna pour out to make something, a situation, an environment, people or a person better. And I wanted to make the milk jazzy and bouncy and poppy and, you know, energetic to make it clear that our figure is present. It's basically an announcement of Sharif's arrival. Now, let's get to the background. Lots of color, it's explosive, it's vibrant. I'm using hot pink, orange, light yellow, dark yellow, red, red, orange, and then the natural white from the background of the paper with some white paint sprinkled on top just so you can like, you know, you, you kind of don't know what's what. You know, it's kind of like a sea of, uh, of hallucinogens and trippy shit. Now, in terms of material, I use watercolor, acrylic wash, and acrylic. The sugar on the beignets, for instance, is acrylic. That's white acrylic stamped on with a cotton swap. The background is watercolor with some ink on the feathers. Now some of you may be asking, why is any of this important? Why do a painting breakdown to begin with? Well, my answer is, perhaps if we all know how to talk about art, how to read art, how to discuss art, how to share art, all encompassing three-dimensional, living, breathing way, perhaps our understanding of the world around us may change because everything around us, from the tools that we utilize, the entertainment that we seek, the clothes that we wear, the homes that we live in, the food that we eat, and the packages that they arrive in, comes from, is a product of, and wouldn't be the same without art. 